to I want to welcome you to yet another edition of the fire broadcast I believe that God is going to wrap us tonight it's going to be really really uh, very fearful very titanic and also highly fireful I want to welcome auntie Sege you are the first person tonight the Lord bless you I can see my friend uh, Frederick, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. We are committed to this cause and I believe that God will empower us, God will strengthen us. The Bible said that the strength is made perfect in weakness. When you are weak, then you are stronger in the name of Jesus. I want you to overcome the powers of fear, the powers of panic. Remember, God is with you. The Bible said that he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Mosai, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, we shall say of the Lord. The Lord is our fortress, the Lord is our refuge, the God in whom we trust. Uh, Bible said that a thousand shall fall at your side and a ten thousand shall fall at your right hand. It will never come nigh you. Only with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Today, I pray in the name of Jesus, every ancient demon called fear, every ancient power are speaking against your life, against your destiny. Uh, let them receive fire now in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you specially, please. You want to call a friend through. Uh, to call another friend, you want to call your cousins, you want to call your nephews, you want to call a brother, you want to call a sister, please keep calling them. I want you to uh, come online as we actually dive into the, the word of God and into prayer. Our lives will never be the same. All the people who are keeping weak with us, God bless you. You are keeping faith uh, with us. The Lord honor you. The Lord favor you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God is our strength, uh, a very, very present help in times of trouble. So our hearts will never be moved. Be strong. I bind the spirit of fear and panic. Uh, fear will suggest to you that you have the coronavirus, even if you have a normal headache and normal. Um, uh, bodily pains, I cast that spirit down. God did not give you the spirit of fear, but power and love and of a sound mind. I command you healed wherever you may be. Please, you want to keep sharing, you want to call a friend to call another friend. Um, the name of Jesus, and you want to keep sharing. Please keep sharing. Please keep sharing. The word of God is life. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, uh, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Uh, for the reign of righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith even as it is written the just shall live by faith remember the just will not live by the COVID-19 the just will not live by evil reports the just not, shall not live by uh, any breaking news but the just shall live by their faith and over three times he said the just shall live by faith and I pray for you that you will live by faith not by what is happening not by panic not by fear you will live by faith the Lord bless everybody who is uh, on board tonight I want to read uh, some two scriptures to us as we zoom into the message for today in the name of Jesus. Now I'm reading from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 12. Let me take you from verse 29. Matthew chapter 12 from verse 29. The Bible says that, or oh, how can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his goods. So Jesus here was talking. This is uh, these are the words of Jesus himself. He said, well, "How can a, 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 someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his goods." I want you to uh, know very very well that when it comes to um, talking about hell, about the devil, there is no one in Scripture that authoritatively. I spoke uh, uh, so much or revealed uh, so much about the devil and you and I we are privy to what Jesus did in the Gospels uh, the Bible says that uh, how God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power he went around doing good and healing everyone that was, was oppressed or the devil for God was with him one of the um, one of the things about Jesus Christ was that he spoke with such authority and um, when it comes to the revelation about demons and the revelation about hell Jesus Christ, I believe that uh, he spoke more and more about it. Uh, so, basically, you cannot say that Jesus didn't talk about demons or he didn't talk about the devil. Uh, so, if Jesus Christ acknowledged that there is a power or there is an entity called the strong man, then he couldn't be joking, he couldn't be lying because Jesus Christ actually revealed everything to us. So, when you also look at uh, the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse... Um, 
21 luke 11 verse 21 it says when a strong man fully armed so jesus acknowledged that there are powers we call the the strong man they say when a strong man fully armed gas his own palace his goods are saved but when one stronger than he attacks him and overcome him he takes away his armory in which he trusted and divide his power let me say it again verse 21 of luke chapter 11 when a strong man fully armed guards his own palace his goods are safe so jesus uh here emphatically was acknowledging that there's a demon or there is a, an entity called the strong man the strong man fully armed guards his own house or his palace his goods are safe but when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him he takes away his armor in which he trusted in so basically uh, from these uh, scriptures we can purport that jesus christ was actually acknowledging uh, an entity called the strong man now let's look at some of the facts and truths about the strong man number one there is an entity known as the strong man so if you're a believer and you don't know that there's, an, uh, there's a strong man already you become uh, gullible or susceptible to uh, satanic or demonic attacks so there is something called uh, the strong man or there's an entity called the strong man then number two the strong man has some level of power the strong man has some level of power the strong man is an entity then number two the strong man has some level of power you can also look at the book of uh, uh, psalms um chapter 2 verse 1 he said why do the hidden range why do the people imagine waiting the kings of this earth they serve uh set themselves against the lord and against his anointed so there are certain powers that imagine evil against god himself and against god's anointed jesus christ uh in this scripture so you'll notice that there are powers and there are powers there are entities and there are entities they don't deal with lesser uh demons they don't deal with lesser uh mortals they deal with with God himself and they deal with Jesus Christ himself so it says the people imagine vain things and of course when you also look at Isaiah chapter 49 verse 24 the Bible talks about the terrible and the mighty the terrible and the mighty he said that can the prey be taken away can the lawful captive be set free so there is something called the terrible and the mighty he say the terrible of the captive shall be delivered and then the prey of the mighty shall be loose so there are powers called the mighty and the terrible i stand in the name of jesus today and i bind every strong man i bind every strong man that is speaking against you then number three the strong man has a house he lives in the strong man has a house he lives in uh, the scriptures we have read in the book of matthew and in the book of luke the strong man has a house that he lives in and i pray that your house will not be the place uh the dwelling place of the strong man in the name of jesus then number four the strong man is a keeper of goods making sure that the things that are are there forever and and forever the owners will never get access to them so the strong man is a keeper of goods the, the strong man can also be called the, uh, the spirit of measure that makes sure that when he has goods in possession there is no way people can actually take it from them today i pray in the name of jesus whoever is brooding over your goods over your breakthroughs over your certificate over your destiny let them receive fire now anybody brooding over your marital destiny over your finances and even over your health that you can't take your health away let them receive fire let them catch fire now in the name of jesus whatever you are shall fire the next one is that the strong man has weapons in fact both defensive and offensive weapons or the strong man has what we call armories today i stand in the name of jesus every weapon in which the strong man is trusting in uh, both offensive and defensive let them paralyze in the name of jesus now the truth of the matter is that every strong man has a house every strong man has a palace a decree over your life and over your destiny the strong man of your father's house the strong man of your mother's house let them receive fire now in the name of jesus so if jesus uh the christ of nazareth the son of the living god acknowledges and then uh accept the fact that there is an entity called a strong man then you and i his followers uh, of course we couldn't be doing less and you also notice that almost every a sickness every infirmity every disease and every dead that jesus actually uh raised every dead person jesus raised back to life he will first of all deal with a demon he will first of all cast an unclean spirit he will first of all cast out the spirit of infirmity so there must be something about this demonic kingdom and then uh healing and this demonic kingdom 
and the spirit of infirmity today i stand in the name of jesus every spirit of infirmity that is speaking against your life in the name of jesus let it be broken down i curse that covid 19 and i curse that coronavirus they are not of god they are demonic uh, they are from the pit of hell and let them go back to where they are coming from in the name of jesus every power from the bottomless pit from abyss against your life against your destiny let it be broken down i curse witchcraft i curse the money holes in jesus mighty name so the strong man has both the offensive and the defensive amorous the next one is the strong man is a very has a wicked agenda he came to kill to steal and to destroy so every family has a strong man every clan has a strong man there are individuals that are guarded by a strong man from the day they were born from their mother's wombs the strong man or the strong woman of their background was actually attached to their houses these are truths that you need to know so sometimes it's not what you did right or what you did wrong, but it was just an ancestral inheritance that people have inherited in form of the strong man. And the strong man also is, has what we call the monetary spirit. The strong man is that power that actually marries people and comes to have very violent sex with them in their dreams, violent sex uh, with them. And so long as someone is married to a strong man or a strong woman, there is no way their physical marriages work. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus every strong power every strong deity every strong man that strong woman the king kong of your father's house and the king kong on your mother's house that is actually on assignment to kill to steal and to destroy your destiny let them receive fire now in the name of jesus please start opening your mouth and pray what i'm saying is actually very uh, very very uh, factual there are things that people do not understand when jesus himself talks about the strong man then it is very very prudent and wise that we pause and begin to understand uh, who this strong personality is why is it as though people are praying they are fasting but their problems are still being duplicated i've been a pastor for some time now by god's grace and i've noticed that there are certain people uh when you pray for them a demon will come and attack you so i know pastors who actually avoid some people with certain peculiar problems that is the workings of the strong man there are certain people on this earth they are christians when you help them uh, a, a spirit will come and attack you asking you why did you help them uh, the authority you have to help them so there are pastors when they see certain uh, problems they try to avoid it just to avoid the wrath of the strong man but today i stand in the name of jesus that every strong man every strong man that have been assigned to scare your helpers away to scare even your pastor away from you uh, let them receive fire now in the name of jesus please listen to all this and i believe that as we go into prayer your life your destiny will never be the same there are certain people you will can never help them because anytime you help them even financially the devil will start attacking your own finances anytime you help them in every way you will see the devil coming to attack your own uh, stuff there are people when you sit down to cancel their marriage the strong man will become very angry for you uh, interfering into the affairs and all of a sudden the counselor or the uh, yeah those who have been uh, into counseling they start um, having um, their own marital problems that is the introduction of the power of the strong man today in the name of jesus every clutches and every grip of the strong man of your background the strong man of your father's house speaking against you let them catch fire now in the name of jesus now Another thing we have to know about the strong man is that the strong man can operate in the heavens. The strong man operates on every side. The strong man can operate from the sea. The strong man can operate from the waters, from the land, and also operate from the heavens. That is the story of Daniel. So there are demons that can actually intercept angels depending on their power base and their power level. So the strong man is as a force against other forces. Jesus will give you a power to tread over snakes and over scorpions so the strong man is actually a chief scorpion or a king scorpion among scorpions so the strong man is a snake a, 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 a leader snake among other snakes so even other powers acknowledge that there's something we call the king kong or the uh, the the prince of of, of um, demons that all actually rules over them so the strong man is that power that actually people fast 
and people pray and then when the answers are delivered they can actually intercept certain angels in the realm of the spirit remember the bible said that the first day that daniel was praying the answer was released by god but when his angel was actually coming he was intercepted by the prince of the power of persia and this demon actually we are talking about is not um any of the demons that you can just uh, say come out and they they go i've been in deliverance for a very long time and i know that there are certain demons where you even say come out they can even pounce on you and beat you and remember the story of uh, the sons of skiva they say jesus i know uh, paul i know but what is your social uh, security number what is your identity so if you don't have an identity in the realm of the spirit there are certain powers you can never deal with so that is the story of some people they pray they fast they do a lot of a lot of things but as soon as kalabosha as soon as their angel is bringing them their answer there is this force there is this power the strong man actually intercept their um, uh, breakthroughs intercept uh, their um, answers and if a whole angel could be intercepted it tells you that there are rankings and there are levels in the realm of the spirit today i stand in the name of jesus every barrier every protocol every impeachment and every satanic diversion or demonic diversions over your life over your destiny let them receive fire now in the name of jesus so the strong man operates as a, ter a territorial power and also operates as a regional power or a regional commander i stand in the name of jesus every strong man of your father's house that have been assigned to intercept your angel i command the presence of the warrior angel michael by name himself receive your goods receive your miracles receive your healings in the name of jesus it is a strong man that actually taught prayers it is a strong man that when people pray uh they believe that god did not hear their prayer that is the presence of the strong man it is a strong man that when people sleep they come to molest them they come to actually uh incubate on their destinies and incubate on their lives but today every a spiritual marriage between you and that strong man that strong man of your father's house let them receive fire now in the name of jesus may your answers be delivered speedily by fire and by thunder now number eight or the next one is that the strong man is a military personality the strong man has military tendencies that is why when you are a believer you are not a, a warrior then you become a weakling or you become a civilian and the strong man actually loves uh civilian christians he loves people who actually are not able to combat and also attack him so the strong man will pray for a very very long time the reason why some people pray and their problems uh, come back is because uh, they've not actually uh, hit the the arrowhead of their uh, problems uh, which means when they go into warfare the strong man sends some other lesser spirit to go and then uh, sweep the way and check what is happening so until you engage in more fasting and in more prayer uh, understanding uh, the technicalities and the dynamics of the rules of warfare the strong man does not appear anyhow today i'm praying that as we are praying let the strong man be attached let the strong man uh, receive fire in the name of jesus so the strong man is a military uh, keeping their good uh, wearing the armories to scare people away so that they are not able to take delivery of their de uh, destinies the next one is that the strong man is a terrible destroyer the strong man has no mercy for anybody is a terrible uh destroyer uh that is what the strong man does very very terrible destroyer the strong man can render a banker useless the strong man can render uh, a certificate holder useless the strong man can actually let people work for a very long time without achieving anything uh the story of a woman is told a banker she has worked in a bank all her life taking very very fat salary but she doesn't know what the, the money is being used for is like there are leakages in her uh, palms the the salary is is fat but nothing is working in her life and one day as she was praying but she became very very uh, suspicious uh the spirit of poverty was over her life and then she decided to go into warfare and as she was praying she heard a voice that she should go and take the knife in the kitchen and start engaging in warfare that is why in warfare your ears must be open uh god will show you a token and that is why i know all the tokens we are practicing they are working for your good and uh, the, the the according to the story and the testimony i read the the woman started 
cutting because he heard the voice of the spirit to start cutting with, with a knife from the kitchen and start going into warfare and she was engaging in warfare in warfare in warfare starting cutting is every evil hand that is on my prosperity every evil hand on my destiny i cut you off today i curse you today and he, she was cutting remember the word of god is as a two-edged sword a two-edged knife i sharpen that sword today in the name of jesus anyone with your goods anyone with your finances whoever is uh, speaking over your life receive fire now now by the following day there was a news from uh, her village uh, not knowing all the warfare she did she was actually cutting off the hands of the chief priestess of her village kalabosha the one that was holding her, her prosperity they saw literally the two hands were cut and blood was oozing out ah and it was no long she confessed and said she was the one holding the finances of the of the whole family today i stand in the name of jesus by tokens the tokens of the sword by the tokens of anything you, you carry anybody that is holding your marriage whoever is holding your certificate whoever is holding your finances let them bow in the name of jesus every power that is actually holding your marriage let them catch fire in the name of jesus demons holding your health let them receive fire now in the name of jesus now the strong man also has a palace the strong man is a king and he reigns and he has subject and other demons that are under him so the strong man actually is a king today i declare in the name of jesus anyone that represents themselves as a marabou as a force to reckon with as a king against your life and against your destiny let them receive fire now in the name of of jesus sado basha i prayed uh, many years for a certain family there are five women and the younger one was actually 40 years the rest of them some were uh, 56 others were 58 and there was there was no one of them that was married so when she came for the all night and the power of god fell upon her she went into a deep sleep that was between the hours of 11 till about 5 a.m so whilst we're praying she had no idea of what we're doing we're just praying not knowing she her eyes were open she saw that she saw herself in another kingdom and in that kingdom she saw about five different women other four and she was also part of them and they were all dressed in the same attire and they realized that they were all married to one particular king and then she said that day she mastered courage in the in the dream and said from today i'm no longer your wife you must fall down and die and all of a sudden the king fell down and died and she realized that all her uh, siblings the other uh, five sisters uh, four sisters were also released as well today i pray for you in the name of jesus everyone you are married to in the realm of the spirit every king kong every uh, deity that has uh, vowed that they will never let you marry in the physical let them receive fire now in the name of jesus every satanic engagement every spiritual marriage let it receive fire let it catch fire now in the name of jesus you need to be very angry when you are dealing with the strong man when you are dealing with the destroyer every destroyer against you let them receive fire the next one is that um the strong man is a controlling force over other spirits and over other demons so the strong man you can call the strong man as a principality over other spirits and over other demons so there are demons among demons and there are spirits among spirits there are certain demons you cast away in many minutes ago other demons you may be trying the rest of your life they will never go why because they are well grounded and then well fortified today i stand in the name of jesus may the power of our lord jesus release you now in jesus mighty name then the next one is the ancestral power or the strong man um over families and over bondages so it is a strong man that is actually an ancestral power an ancestral ruler over family bondages and over family patterns you've heard me talk about the patterns where patterns are repeated in families and in houses it is the strong man that actually come uh, causes the patterns to be resisted uh, to be uh, repeated so if your father was a drunkard uh, you may end up as a walking palm tree if your mother was a polygamist you may end up as a divorcee or somebody who had never married before so it is a strong man that 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 actually empowers family bondage and family repetitions or family occurrences today i decree in the name of jesus every family uh, power that is holding you ancestral uh, reputation of uh, patterns in the bloodline let it be broken down in the name of Jesus I release you by fire I release you by thunder in Jesus name now the strong man also 
is the Goliath and the Pharaoh among your pursuers. The strong man is the Pharaoh. He's also the Goliath among your pursuers. A lot of people are pursuing you, but when the strong man appears on the scene, he's like the Pharaoh. He's like the, the Goliath of among your pursuers today i stand in the name of jesus every goliath and every pharaoh that have been assigned to pursue your destiny to pursue your light uh command them receive fire now in the name of jesus in this night season every strong power every strong force against your life against your destiny let them catch fire now in the name of jesus remember jesus said there is something called a strong man there is an entity called a strong man and today we are trying to uncover the strong man we want to unveil the strong man so that you can gain uh, supremacy you can gain dominion you can gain authority over that strong man every family has a strong man and there are certain individuals the day they were born nye, 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 a demon was actually um assigned over them they handed them to the strong man they handed them over to the strong man today i pray in the name of jesus every strong man or strong one of your background that is rendering your prayers useless let them cut fire now in the name of jesus now the next one is the strong man the strong man will send his children first before he will come himself that's the reason for temporal relief have you ever heard the word temporal relief before? They pray for you, they are fasted for you, and as if you are enjoying some temporal success, but all of a sudden the poverty it becomes more entrenched and even more is worse than you started. So that is what the strong man does. When the strong man uh, realize that you are praying, they make you deal with their small, small boys, but they themselves, they are still at the background. That is why in prayer, until the strong man is uprooted, there is no way you will enjoy an everlasting breakthrough or a breakthrough you can pass on to your children's children. I stand in the name of Jesus as we pray tonight. Let the strong man be exposed. Let the strong man receive fire in Jesus mighty name every spirit assigned and attached over your birth to molest you in your dreams to rape you let them receive fire there are people who are being raped in their dreams when they wake up they see blood they see semen everywhere because the strong man has vowed never to leave them today I stand in the name of Jesus let a stronger force let a stronger power even the power of God release you uh, from every string hand in the name of Jesus we freeze their destinies by fire by thunder now, another assignment of the strong man is to scare away helpers. The strong man scares away helpers. Whoever must help you, the strong man can actually appear to the person, to threaten the person, to warn the person, never to attempt it, and never to try it, because you are actually under their custody. So that is why as there are people, when someone is helping them, uh, their hands are tied, they cannot help them again, because the strong man might have appeared to them uh, to warn them. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus, every strong man every strong woman that goes ahead of you to muddy the waters let them receive fire now in jesus name every strong man that is with your destiny uh, helper or your destiny sponsor or your destiny advertiser let them catch fire now in the name of jesus so there are people who want to help you all of a sudden they'll switch off their phones all of a sudden they will do things that you know that they shouldn't have done it is actually a strong man so the strong man uh, scare away helpers the strong man can even scare away uh, some men of God, uh, that if the man of God want to carry out a deliverance for you, the strong man can actually appear to the, um, to the man of God and tell the man of God, be, beware or be warned. So the strong man is very, very terrible. Uh, say fire. There are st certain strong men that even appear to native doctors. That is why come, there are people who even go to the shrine, but their problems defy the shrine. The shrine is the priestess or the priest uh, can never help them because the strong man has also appeared to the native daughter and said, don't help this person else I'll kill you. So the strong man is uh, a universal force that actually appears uh, to people. I stand in the name of Jesus. There was the story many years ago of um, a particular man, everything was uh, uh, became bizarre, everything dwindled, his life was never anything better. So he decided to take steps to uh, the shrine to ask and consult 
uh, when he went to the native daughter, the native daughter actually referred him to our church. He said, that church, the way they pray, I know that that church can solve your problems. I stand in the name of Jesus, Carl Labosha. So even a native doctor was recommending our church to uh, this uh, poor man that the native daughter said they couldn't help, but these way, people, the way they are praying, they can help. And truly, when a man got to our grounds, after two, three minutes of prayer, he was delivered. Today, I pray, as we pray, every power, that is speaking against you, that is speaking against your destiny, let them receive fire now. Every power that is carrying Kola Baba, scaring your helpers away, let it catch fire now in the name of Jesus. Now, the strong man can be attached to people's career and people's ministries and people's destinies. The strong man can be attached. That is why there are two professors. One has over five cars and another one is uh, driving a jalopy. He's a professor but anytime he starts his car, you hear to smoke and uh, things coming out. So he's a professor, all right, but because the strong man has been attached to his own uh, professorship, there is no way he will enjoy success. So there are strong men attached to ministries. There are strong men attached to people's calling. And when you don't deal with a strong man, you will notice that you will do the work of God for a very long time and still be poor. That is the reason be between one pastor and the other pastor. There are people who have dealt with their strong man and there are people who are actually uh, taming and actually encouraging the strong man around them by too much sleep. Uh, there are people who should be in the night and be praying, but they take life very, very normal, very casual. The devil tells them that you don't have a problem. All you need to do is just make declaration and sleep. I stand in the name of Jesus. Every strong man, every strong one that is attached to your calling, that is attached to your destiny, let them cut fire now in the name of Jesus. Ali Kababa, you are in the same career. Someone is poor, another person is making success because there is a particular strong man that has been attached to somebody's destiny. Church, if you don't deal with a strong man, you can be a pastor for a very long time, you can be a minister for a very long time, and they can still be challenging your calling. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus by the revelation of this mystery I am uncovering. Every strong man attached to your career, every strong man attached to your business, let them receive fire now in the name of Jesus. There are people who do business and they rise and then they fall. What is the difference? The difference is that there's a strong man attached to their own business uh, opportunities every strong man that's what comes you will sign a contract and after signing the contract they will, they, will, they will come and cancel the contract they will tell you actually 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 and all of a sudden you don't hear from them again that is the power of the strong man it's not because you're not a believer it's not because god is not listening to your prayer but it's because there is a particular strong man or a strong woman that is attached to your bloodline. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus, every strong man attached to my calling, attached to my ministry, attached to my marriage, attached to my life, attached to my career. Let them catch fire now. Let them receive fire now. In the name of Jesus, as we pray tonight, let the strong man of your father's house, let the strong woman of your mother's house receive fire now. In the name of Jesus, every power, Kalabosha. Haven't you seen people who could speak English, who could preach very well from Genesis to Revelation back to Malachi, but they are not going anywhere. They are always around the corner. They become village champions. They become um, people who are rendered useless. But another person is not even speaking English well, and the person is all over the world. I stand in the name of Jesus. We overpower the strong man. We overcome the strong man now. In the name of Jesus, now. The strong man will not make people to dream. The strong man will not make people to dream. And you have uh, actually heard people boastfully saying, when they sleep, they sleep, they don't dream. They were actually dreaming, but the strong man makes sure that their monitor is uh, uh, demonically positioned so that when they even dream, they can't recollect the dream. They can never remember the dream. It is not normal. Every human being must be a dreamer. Every human being, at least when you sleep, you must receive messages because whether you like it or not, every message of a dream conveys a particular statement and also conveys a particular message so if you are not able to see in your dreams it means the strong man attacked your life has disengaged your information uh, La Kabosha. Today I pray in the name of Jesus, every power assigned to your dreams that you can't dream and when you even dream, you forget. Let them receive fire now in the name of Jesus. Whoever has uh, redesigned and repositioned your monitor, let them catch fire in Jesus' name. So when people boast and say they don't dream, it means there's a particular strong man that has been attached over their destinies so they can't see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. Now the next one is when they even attend a living church, 
when people attend a living church some check uh, uh, check uh, church people fic people would drag the person to another church uh, or to a native doctor so they move the person from actually fire to smoke that's what the straw man does when they are attending a very powerful and a living church where their destinies are well covered another fake uh, um, church member will come and then drive them out by giving them stories about the particular church they are attending and then eventually they even <laughs> drag them to uh, the shrine and drive them to native doctors or they drive them to uh, fake pastors that is the work of the straw man when you are in church and they realize that you'll be covered they make sure they drag you out so that your destiny will become miserable father i stand in the name of jesus and i pray for somebody who is listening to me may you be planted in the house of god uh be, we curse witchcraft we curse manipulations in the name of jesus people were attending church when it was time for their breakthroughs to come another devil will come and then move them relocate them to another place then they'll start all over again yes you might have a genuine case you might have a consent case but it is the working of the strong man to actually reposition and relocate your destiny so you start all over again today i stand in the name of jesus and i declare every strong man attached to your life every strong man attached to your destiny let them receive fire 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 in the name of jesus so the strong man is that particular force who pretend to be sleeping and when you are about touching your breakthrough they will come and drag you back to where you started from and then they pretend they are sleeping and when you are about touching your uh, uh, mark again they come back to drag you backward so it is back and forth i declare in the name of jesus every strong man assigned your life to your destiny let them receive fire now remember i said jesus acknowledged that there was a power that is called the strong man how do you get free from the grief of the strong man the first one is to surrender your life to jesus christ right now even as we are about praying remember when your goals are kept by a strong man you will need another stronger power to actually deliver you from their hands and i came to recommend jesus christ the son of the living god the bible says that he is the head over all principalities and he's the head over all powers the bible said that by him all things were created whether they be thrones whether they be dominions whether they be my uh, um, uh, authorities visible and invisible they were created by him and they are for him so there is no way you can ever bind the strong man if you don't belong to the side of jesus if you are not born again so as we continue the prayer i want you to open your mouth and say lord jesus i come to you today i acknowledge i'm a sinner and you are my only lord and savior forgive me my sins and help me to actually deal with a strong man forgive me my sins and wash me by your own blood jesus i give you my life today in jesus mighty name and tonight we are going to confront the strong man we are going to confront that strong power that is why you have to give your life to jesus first before you can uh, contend with the strong man because the strong man is not physical the strong man is highly spiritual the strong man has actually molested people the strong man has actually dealt with a lot of lives many people died without fulfilling one third of what god has called them to do that is the working of the strong man the strong man kills people before their time and when the strong man kills people say it was god who called the person i stand in the name of jesus and i declare every strong man every strong man of your father's house of your mother's house let them receive fire now in the name of jesus the first prayer we are praying tonight say you strong man invading my destiny and invading my house i also invade your house today and i put you under arrest in the name of jesus say strong man i put you under arrest today in the name of jesus say wherever you are located oh strong man i put you under arrest today in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray kababo shada for ya 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 for you for ya 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 invade 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 the house strong man for ya strong man for ya strong man for ya enter father's house enter mother's house strong man for you for ya for ya for ya for ya for ya arrest them arrest them arrest them arrest them strong man Arrest them. Enter father's house. Enter mother's house. 
Fanta, background, strong man, for ya, strong woman, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for you, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, strong man, die, strong man, die, for ya, arrest them, enter, enter, father's house, enter, mother's house, strong man, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya. For ya, for ya, for you, for you, for you, for ya, for ya, child of God, enter, child of God, enter, beloved, enter, father's house, enter, mother's house, strong man, arrest them, arrest him, arrest him, strong man, for ya, 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 say every strong man destroying my business, destroying my marriage. And destroying my finances, destroying my health. What are you still waiting for? Die by fire. Say, I enter my father's house and I enter my mother's house. You strong man, destroy my marriage. You strong man, destroy my career. You strong man, destroy my finances. As I clap and pray, die by fire. For ya, 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 for you, for you, for ya, for ya. For ya, enter, enter, father's house, enter, mother's house, for ya, 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 for you, for ya, 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 for you, for you, for you, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya. For ya, 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 strong man, die, strong man, die, strong man, die, strong man, die, strong man, for ya, for ya, for ya, for you, for ya, for ya, which craft, for ya, which country, for ya, strong man, for ya, say thou for many strong man, attack to my life. I touch my birth. I touch my glory. I touch my destiny. Oh, family trauma. Die. Die. In the name of Jesus. Die. Say, family trauma. Now open your mouth and pray and struggle out of the hands of this trauma. Kalabo Shata. For ya. 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 For you. For you. For ya. 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 For ya, strong man. For ya, for ya, for ya, for you, for you, strong man. For ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya, for ya. For ya, 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 for this house, for ya, my this house, for you, for you, for you, for ya, 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 die, 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 for ya, 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 for you, for you, for you. For ya, for ya, for ya, lose me, for me, lose me, so ma, for ya, for ya, for ya, die, die, for ya, for ya. Now take the next prayer point. Say, strong man of infirmity, every strong man of infirmity, remember. Uh, um, the COVID is an infirmity. Uh, COVID-19 is an infirmity. So say every strong man of infirmity, of COVID-19, of coronavirus, against my destiny, die by fire. Say you strong man of COVID-19, you strong man of coronavirus, attach against my destiny. Catch fire. For ya, 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 die, die. Die, die for you, for you, for ya, 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 for you, for ya, for ya, for ya, for you. 
Faya, 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 Fabir, Enta, Padazos, Enta, Marazos, Faya, Covid, Faya, 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 Enta, Background, Enta, Fadazos, Enta, Marazos, Soma, Die, Fall Down, Die, Fall Down, Die, Marabu. Die, strong man, cut fire, strong man, for ya, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for ya, Covid 19, for ya, Covid 19, for ya, infamity, for ya, infamity, for ya, evil police, for ya, pandemic, for you, for ya, die, 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 for ya, 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 for you. Faya, 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 Father's house, for you, Mother's house, Faya, 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 for you, Faya, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. The next prayer. Say you storm on the poverty. Attack to my destiny. Die. A little bit Shanda. I release you from the power of penury. From the power of abject poverty. Say strong man of my father's house. Attack to my wealth. Attack to my influence. Die by fire. Say you strong man of poverty. Die. This prayer, you need to pray the prayer. Every strong man of poverty, die by fire. Remember, ah, look at that, Baba. Uh, Jabo, good health is not just limited uh, to only your body, but your spirit, your soul must also have health. And money is not just health. You will need to actually prosper. Uh, your prosperity is your life, your health, and every aspect of your life. And it's not just money. I stand in the name of Jesus. Every power attached to you uh, to be poor uh, in your health, in your Christian work, let that power die now. Every ancestral power of poverty, fire, 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 fire. Faya, 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 for ya, 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 poverty, for ya, poverty, for ya, I lose you now. In the name of Jesus, the next one is every strong man fighting my star. Every strong man fighting my glory. You have a star. You have a glory. Tell your friend around you. You have a star. You have a glory. Say, I declare now. You strong man fighting my star. You strong woman fighting my glory. Die by fire. Say, strong man of my father's house that is fighting my crown. Fighting the coat of medicalists that is fighting my destiny. Die by fire. Cool, Every strong man fighting your health. Die by fire. Strong man fighting your health. Die by fire. I release you now. I release you now. Say strong man fighting my health. Fighting my star. Fighting my beauty. Fighting my brightness. Fighting my decorum. Die by fire. Die by fire. Strong man fighting my life. Catch fire now. For ya. 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 For you. For ya. Come out. Daba. Arike. Mandaba. Shadia. Allah. Kanda. Opium. Of. And pray. You can speak in tongues. You can speak in your language. You can command fire. Every strong man. Attach to my destiny. Attach to my stars. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. I am loose now. For ya. Kadoba. Shad. Arante. Lababa. 
Le mandala rabade, aranda la rabade, are kababa, ale kadababa, arande kaba, ale ndala baba, ale kababa, rate kamama, indala rababe, ale kandala, ala kandala ba, amanda la rabo, are keba, and the cleverest woman that is fighting your destiny, fighting your star, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, the strong man fighting your children, die by fire, die by fire, in the name of Jesus. Now I release you, as you are listening to me, every yoke of the enemy against your life, against your style, let it be broken down in the name of Jesus. I release your destiny. Kabado Bosha, please whatever you may be, place on your, your hands, uh, on your head, and decree in the name of Jesus. Say every sickness, every disease that has entered my system, I flush you out now. Come out now. The Bible says you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. As you lay hands by the medium of laying of hands, I release you now. I release you now. In the name of Jesus, I see the power of God running through your hands into your system. We kill and we curse every infirmity, every disease against you. I'm just saying, a man, I see about 64 policemen attached to your own breakthroughs, and I saw that they were all falling down one by one. 64 policemen. Father, I stand in the name of Jesus. I curse them now. Ah, 54, 54, 54. You are listening to me and your heart has been vibrating. I just saw an angel reposition your heart now. Every vibration in your heart, every vibration in your breathing. I declare war against it now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing an angel touch somebody's right eye. Today, I pray in the name of Jesus. Your right eye is touched. Your right eye is touched. Eye is touched. You spirit of glaucoma. You spirit of blindness attached to your eyes. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. A, list, a woman is listening to me towards the right side of your heart. Ale kababo, you are feeling some vibrations. I command you heal now. Ale babo, shara. I'm seeing three women listening to me now. You'll be experiencing the spirit of mild paralysis. But as you lay hands on your head today, I curse that paralysis now. I rebuke the spirit of paralysis. I bind it now. I bind it now. I bind it now. Randadabo, shut up. You are listening to me and you are asking, Oh Lord, so why will my prayers be answered? Receive answers now. The strong man is dead. I killed that strong man. Kalabosha. I'm seeing about 30 women. 30 women, every husband, spiritual husband, as a strong man that is attached to your marriage. I curse them. I kill them. I kill them now. Strong man, die. Ah, Kalabosha. Die. 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 Kabosha. Rana. Makuda. I see about three women. Something is moving your body. You feel like worms that is moving your body. Today, I curse the spirit of oppression. Every power moving in your bloodstream, I curse it now. I curse it now. I curse it now. In the name of Jesus, you had a dream and you saw yourself holding racks and you saw yourself holding an old bag. It is symbolic of the spirit of poverty. Today, I release you now. I release you now. Come out now. Come out now. Spirit of poverty. Come out. Hey, Kababo, Shadabroka, Mandalarabosha, Ah, Kadea. You had a dream and you saw a madman running away with your own wedding gown. I just saw about two women. You had a dream. I declare now in the name of Jesus, every strong man that has run away with your marriage, let them return it now. They are returning it now. They are returning it now. In the name of Jesus, I release you now. I release you now. Your kidneys have a problem, but I saw an angel replace the kidneys. I declare your kidneys are being replaced. All you need to say is to say amen. Believe the word of God. It will never fall to the ground. I release you now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare a release now. Man Takoa, Arake Mandela, Areke Taboa. I pray for you now. Every strong man attached to your life, to your destiny. Let them receive fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. I see God anoint some of the saints. We are strangling the strong man. We are strangling the strong man of your background. Every strong man against your life receive fire. I am seeing about 40 people listening to me now you'll be hearing strange voices something is telling you that you have the sickness you have caught the sickness i came to tell you that is a voice from the pit of hell it is a lie you don't have that sickness i release you now yes i release you now i release you now from evil voices hey kadababa shua are kamama dea are kanda badea ho kadama dea aruka nakura bleda baha i release you I release you. 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 I release you right now. I release you. I command deliverances. I command deliverance now by fire. Be loose now. Be loose now. 
every terrorist, every spiritual power that has been terrorizing your dreams, uh, let them die, let them receive fire. Every power molesting you in the night season, sleeping with your destiny, I curse them out. I curse them out. Every power that wants to sleep with you and give you the coronavirus, I curse them. I curse them. Die, 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 die by the Holy Ghost fire. I love you. In Jesus' name. Every negative report over you, you saw yourself and you saw the obituary, I cancel it. The Lord is showing me a vision of an obituary, I cancel it, I terminate it. You are listening to me about three people, you have a sugar diabetes, I curse that diabetes, the spirit of diabetes, Kadabo Shadam, Kamandua, it has even caused some sores in your legs already, I curse that spirit of diabetes, I can command you whole, in the name of Jesus. Kalabababo Shadam. Mantala da babao. Open your mouth and take in tongues and thank God. He la ba da babao. In the name of Jesus. Mera. Ha ba 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 shanda la ba ba ba. I release somebody listening to me. I hear chains are dropping. Chains are dropping. Every chain they are bound with, I see them drop. The straw man is the same man that bound the Gaderia man that nobody could tame him, nobody could bind him. That is a strong man. The Bible says that he had often broken from jail, broken the chains because there's a strong power that was in him. But when he met Jesus, the spirit surrendered. I see every power surrendering now in the name of Jesus. Every power that is boasting over your life, boasting over your glory, boasting over your prayers, I decree they are surrendering now to the lordship of the great power jesus christ bible says there's no power but of god and every power that be was ordained by god he said how terrible art thou in all thy ways and through the greatness of thy power you shall subdue your enemies the power of god is subduing them i release you i release you in the name of jesus strange voices you have any problem in your body please please around there in the name of jesus i command you healed Every sickness terminate. God will give you a testimony in Jesus' name. Now, listen carefully. Even though I ask many of you to carry a bosha, to carry a bunch of keys, please drop those keys for now. Tomorrow, we'll go into the keys. Carry a knife and declare every power fighting your destiny, your star. I'm seeing a confrontational anointing. As you are sleeping tonight, you will have an encounter. So, you're going to be confrontational. You're going to pray for the next 15 minutes. Carry a sword. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. Kalabo shut down. He said the weapons of warfare, they are not canal, which means we have weapons of warfare. Now you're going to use that knife and that catalyst symbolically as a weapon. And you are going to declare that like the story and the testimony I shared, anybody holding your finances, holding your health, holding your marriage, you are going to butcher them, do it in the spirit. Make sure you are not close to any child, you are not close to anybody. Do it alone, stand alone, and decree against them whoever is holding your marriage. Please, the person, please, until you are angry, you can't change your destiny. Until you are restless, you cannot change your destiny. Until you are fed up, you cannot change your destiny. So please put the bunch of kids, uh, bunch of kids down. We are not going by human methodology, we are going by what God is saying per time. Go and carry a knife, you can anoint it if you wish, and then command confrontation and speak over that oil. And after you have made the prayer, please sip the oil. Sip the oil, you're going to see a manifestation. Whatever living creature in your system, I drop it now by the deliverance oil. I release you in Jesus' name. Church, we started our fasting this dawn. This fast is going to be in the night season. So you eat from the daytime after 6 a.m. And then you break and you eat up to 6 p.m. And then from 6 p.m. on fact, you eat up to 5.30 p.m. And from 6 p.m., you will not eat until the following day. So instead of fasting the day, we are fasting in the night. Uh, our protocol, our um, administration is going to give you more details. So we will fast from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it means that as usual, when we close right now, you can't eat. Especially to all the people who are in Africa. Our time is a bit uh, different from the times outside so you too you know what we are saying so you start fasting from this season or from this minute um so by six 
the, in the morning you can break your fast up to 5 30 p.m and then we'll start fasting from 6 p.m we are going to be handling powers of the night and i believe that god is going to give us grace please open your mouth and start making prayers go to your kitchen cut the knife like the woman did start slaughtering you will see a sign tonight and after that pick oil and sip and go and sleep i command deliverance i bless you in jesus mighty name i'll see you tomorrow's night the lord bless you we are fasting from now you can bring your fast after 6 a.m and then you eat till 5 30 p.m and then you start fasting in the night so now we are fasting only in the night and we are eating the daytime the lord bless you in jesus mighty name please go and take your knife go and take your cutlass whatever you want to take my talk they call it take it and start doing warfare please you are not going to butcher anybody you are butchering the strong one of your father's house enough is enough you are a professor you can't even claim you're a professor nothing is working i declare a release in jesus name amen